Hello, Veteran 0 and here, welcome back, and this is another episode of Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. In the last episode, we gave Phil some ambition, so his mouse soulmate here in Ding Dong Dao would stop going around stealing shit from people. Because the bat little mousey somehow stole our holy wood. Without us even noticing at all. Didn't make any friggin' sense. But whatever. The game wanted to slow our progress, so they had to throw that little sequence in there. Alright, you stupid mouse. We know who you sold it to, you just need to, like, somehow tell them that you, uh, you stole it. Yeah, out with it. Freaking wasting our time. What do you need gilders for? Cloud sweeper? There's a chest in here. What the hell? I never got this. I seriously didn't get that treasure? This is Ding Dong Dell. I thought I got all the treasure in this town. Oh well. I guess not. I guess that's one I missed somehow. Either that or some of the chests in, in previous areas. Uh, come back after a certain amount of time, I guess, maybe? I don't know. That's a little puzzling. Because I know when I first started this LP, you know, last year, I, uh... I was pretty, um, diligent at exploring every nook and cranny and trying to find everything I could. Alright, King Tom. Do what you gotta do, man. That was nifty. How the hell did he do that? All right. 
Let's go. Should probably rest up too. As long as I'm here. No, nah, we're good. Hamlin, here we come. Yeah, I, I keep thinking that holding down the X button is uh, accelerate. Like with the Riards and Tails of uh, Symphonia, but yeah, that's not the case. Left stick pretty much does everything. Right stick moves the camera. Yeah, there's like no way to kind of warp to the to the palace. So you don't have to walk through town every time. It's kind of a long walk. What you gotta do with this freaking flute or whatever it is that we need. What? Oh, come on.
Yeah, we can't do that. Yeah, we kind of already knew that. Yeah, it, it doesn't make... If they already knew that, then yeah, why are they trying to get him to admit that? I mean, hell, he... I don't know, that's, that's dumb. Good grief. I mean, I kind of forgotten that, because I haven't played that part in a while, obviously, but... Ugh. Okay. So how are we going to do this? Hmm. Wow, uh. that thing sure seems powerful. Yes, and they work so well together. <sighs> wow. Da 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 da. Or wait, yeah, sorry, wrong. Wrong tune. story in the wind in the wizard companion no new spells but that's fine all right so we're gonna go to the miasma marshes doesn't sound like a very nice place Doesn't sound like a very nice place at all. But hey, maybe we're getting close to the end of this game and I don't even realize it. I mean, hell, we're going to Shadar's castle, right? Wouldn't that be the end of the game? It takes like five minutes to walk out of the town. <laughs> Alright, so where are these marshes? Let's go there. Where the hell do we land?
the fuck? Are we supposed to talk? Are we supposed to talk to the queen again? Or what? Because now, now I'm confused. How do I get there? I guess, well, I guess we are supposed to go this way. Never mind. Goodbye, Queen. Oh, all right. Still, though, why couldn't we have just landed out here? That doesn't make any sense. Looks like we have some new enemies in this area, though. Firefry and ex girlfriend? Really? <laughs> ex girlfriend. Nice. Ow. Oh. Level Yasma Morse's Quagmire of Corruption. Like I said, doesn't re really look like a very nice place at all. 
and we'll start exploring it in the next episode. This is Veteran 0 and 2-1. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.